So I've been thinking a lot lately and I just had the weirdest realization that Nigeria may actually never get better during our lifetimes. Bata, bata. Bata, bata. Bata. Box. And so I listened to a lot of fella, uh, fella Nikola Pokuti, uh, who passed away in 1997 at the age of 58. And a lot of the things he said is actually like still happening, even into the future, like, you know, and uh, I've kind of known that, but that reality did not really set until just this past um, month or so. So, and for me, it's just really somber. It's what they say, the uh, you have that aha moment or the light switch goes off in your head. And it's very sad. I was just like, wow. So it's true that Nigeria may actually not get better. This giant of Africa with a lot of crude oil at one point was the fifth largest supplier of crude oil. Um, uh, so it's just sad, but it's also like a little bit mesmerizing. So one of the songs I was listening to is the song uh, Suffering and Smiling. Every day, the Suffering and Smiling, that kind of song, or My People Suffering and Smiling. So if you know that song, you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, um, you can check it out. Uh, it's one of those fellas, uh, greats. And the idea of that song is people are suffering and they are smiling uh, while in suffering. So it's a concept of uh, suffer head. And I don't know why a lot of Nigerians like suffer head as a whole collective. And I know people will call me and say, well, you can't really say that, you know, blah, 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 uh, because uh, not everybody likes suffer head. But if you look at the actions of uh, the people in power, it's just one of kind of oppression and to oppress the masses, oppress the people. And uh, the people are suffering and smiling because uh, they have other things like Pelase to hold on to, which is like religion, um, or believe that something will get better. Uh, but in the other part of the world, they look at history and say, based on the history of what has happened, if things haven't gone better, they're probably not going to get better. So when you say uh, people are suffering and smiling, they likes of ahead. One fella said that. What it meant was that people want to uh, give authority and power to those who want power and authority, whereas uh, they themselves, their conditions are very, very bad and are living in abject poverty. Um, so stomach infrastructure is something that comes to mind for me. Stomach infrastructure is where you you elect people that you know they are not good for you in the future but you know they are good for you today because your stomach is empty right now and that's something very common so everybody going into politics um they have a lot of money a lot of cash to take care of people now today don't worry when i get into power don't worry about how i govern just elect me now elect me today and let me um let me be fed today so, and that's uh, a plague uh, for a place like Nigeria because everywhere you go, in every state, this concept of stomach infrastructure is very common during the election season where people will just, um, uh, people will vote someone who gives them money uh, or who gives them a bag of rice or a bag of salt or like tomatoes. Like when you just give us something now. And the whole idea is just, we don't know what you're going to do when you get into power. We are not sure if they are good for us uh, because we've seen a lot of people like you who have fallen short of their promises. So we don't really care about what you do when or if elected. What we care about now is today. Take care of us today and uh, just feed us today. And when you feed us today, we are good. Just give me enough money. So then you have the issue of delegates, the way the, the system is set up in Nigeria uh delegates are people that actually go in and they select who is the person that gets put on the ballot um and delegates are paid millions like literally millions of naira or you might think of it like thousands tens and tens of thousands of dollars that's how much delegates collect so these delegates get all this money against stomach infrastructure with that money they are getting while you are being put on the ballot that money, they can use that to send their kids to college. That money, they can use to build a house. That money, they can use to buy a car they want. So all these delegates, even up to the local government council, a lot of them uh, is just feed us now. The problem with that is that not everybody is a delegate 
or not everybody is a chairman of uh, a political party. Not everybody is a chairman of a rep of the House of State representative. So the few, very very few people, are the ones who make decisions on who gets on the ballot. Those who get paid in advance, because I may not know who you are. I've just been told by Godfather that you need to be the one that I put into office. So I'm going to do that. But by the way, you need to take care of me for the next four years today. So that's how messed up it is. So take care of me today. And if you take care of me today, go your way. I don't care about your policies. I don't care about what you do. I don't care about the future. Just pay me now. And this pay me now mentality is something that makes it very difficult for some of us, the younger generation, to see how Nigeria will be better in our lifetimes. Um, so just another thing that comes to mind for me while I was kind of thinking about this is the fact that there's this concept of a national cake. So it's only in Nigeria you have the concept of national cake. National cake means there's so much money and I just want my piece of it. I want to steal my share of it. I want to like eat my piece of it because we're all Nigerians and it's a national cake. We've got this money somewhere, which is money we are borrowing from the future. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just really, really bizarre. And when you think about it, like your head almost like explodes. Like how is a country living like this? And, and how will that state function if you are borrowing from 30 years into the future? If you are going into IMF and you are going into like all this uh, World Bank and other places, to borrow money into the future so you are borrowing on money you don't even have today so yes other countries do that but to an extent those countries that are doing it they have money those countries that are doing it, they can raise taxes those countries that are doing it they have ways of controlling uh, or leveraging they have leverage i guess is the best word but a country like nigeria with no leverage all the leverage we have is just crude oil and the crude oil is being stolen by billions and billions of naira like every year as we found out recently so it's back to the question, how will we be sure that Nigeria will get back in our lifetimes? Or do we even know it's going to get better in our lifetime? So I talked about stomach infrastructure and, that, and how that's ruining the political process. The political godfathers are the one saying who needs to be there. And uh, when they make those decisions, at the point of decision, they collect four years uh, payments in advance by way of appointments, nominations, political favors, and then there's also the concept of national cake that those who paid to get there, they have to recoup the investments. And then they go and get uh, part of the national cake. So running for office is more like uh, an investment. Not about the people. It's not about the country. It's not about the infrastructural needs of the Nigerian common man. But it's more about, it's an investment. It's like a stock <laughs> or a bond or, or Bitcoin, if you would. <laughs> uh, so you do that and then you... Um, uh, you 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 borrow money from people. Don't worry when I get into this, I'll pay you back. I need to borrow this much money so as to be on the ballots. You know, like it was like I think it was hundred million naira for the presidential ticket. Where is someone going to find that? Like, how would you get hundred million naira? You have to go borrow with interest. And then even if you borrow to get on, even in the Senate or House Rep or or Council or local chairman, you are certainly sure that there's a national cake waiting for you because you've satisfied the stomach infrastructure of today and that's just the political uh, godfathers and those that are in power how about the common man and that's the most sad part even the common man relies on stomach infrastructure because people are paid to buy their votes and when votes are bought uh there's a price to sell your votes there's a price to sell it and when you pay for that price you are kind of, especially in Nigeria, like, okay, how much can I get out of this guy, this dude? Well, let him give me a car. Let him give me a car. If he gives me a car, I know for sure that car will last for four years. <laughs> or let him give me a bag of rice or 10 bags of rice. In some cases, dollars are being handled and shared among people. So back to Fela's uh, song, Suffering and Smiling. Uh, we're suffering, we're smiling, we're religious, we're happy. Um, today, uh, people even say Nigerians are the happiest on earth. I don't know how they got that or where they got that from. Uh, but it's something that they say in Nigeria, ah, we are the happiest people on earth. But we are also the most suffering people on earth. So, 
what do we do and how can we change this or could we um and it's dire you know as time is passing and the clock is ticking uh will nigeria ever get better or is nigeria truly a failed state um uh, so those are kind of my thoughts uh, i just wanted to see what you guys think about that and how can things be better so we don't suffer and smiling and with the holidays just passing by like it made me realize how poor and how broke people were and um can things be better or will things ever get better in our lifetimes thanks for watching please like this video if you haven't share it to someone that you think might find value in it and uh, if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for catch you guys later bye Bata bata, bata bata, bata box.